If your cruise is going to Nassau, Perfect Day, Coco Key, or both, what should you pack for a Bahamas cruise? I've got a list of the most important things to bring up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RealCaribbeanBlog.com. If your cruise goes to the Bahamas, well then you're on a pretty common type of cruise. Bahamas cruises are really popular because of, well, proximity to the United States and the fact it's really a beautiful area. From snorkeling crystal clear waters to spending time at, of course, Royal Caribbean's private island in Perfect Day at Coco Key, there is something to enjoy in the Bahamas for pretty much everybody that's out there. And packing for a Bahamas cruise can be a little different than packing for a Caribbean cruise, especially if one is longer than that, because, of course, packing for a cruise efficiently means that you get to enjoy your vacation as much as possible without having to worry about forgetting essential items or, I think more importantly when it comes to the Bahamas, bringing extra stuff and just having that extra weight that you have to lug around. So, from packing lightweight clothing to remembering sunscreen and comfortable shoes, this is our list of the top items to pack for a cruise to the Bahamas, starting with number one, and that is you're definitely going to want breathable, casual clothing. Lightweight fabrics are key on a Bahamas cruise because you're going to encounter warm temperatures pretty much all year round. Heavy fabrics and non-breathable clothing aren't recommended at all unless you really like sweating a lot. Lightweight shorts, t-shirts, tank tops, sundresses, rompers are all acceptable clothing in the Bahamas. In fact, you want to pack loose-fitting clothing over tight, restrictive outfits to ensure that you're also comfortable throughout your stay in the Bahamas. It can also be fun to pack colorful, tropical pattern clothing to really make you feel like you're on vacation. I think these kind of clothing is very much in vogue right now, and a lot of people will enjoy having something a little more festive. So leave the boring black clothes at home and opt for that floral sundress or Hawaiian print shirt instead. Now, if you're only going to be wearing a swimsuit and cover-up, be sure to pack a change of clothes or a lightweight dress to throw over your swimsuit. It's common courtesy to wear your real clothing if you spend time walking around the port or renting local businesses after the beach. Now, speaking of clothing, you're also going to want to make sure you're aware of the dress codes on Royal Caribbean. We've done videos about dress codes here before and the importance of them and the fact they do exist. If you're doing a short cruise, a three or four night cruise that goes purely to the Bahamas, oftentimes Royal Caribbean will refer to one of the nights as dress your best. It's what they don't call formal night anymore but it's essentially the same thing. And you might be wondering, do people still get dressed up for a, well, let's call it a formal night on a short cruise? And the answer is some do, some don't. Some prefer to be very casual about it because it's a shorter cruise. There's a lot of people who are just looking to do like weekend escapes kind of thing. And so the pop and circumstance you might find on a longer cruise may not hold true over here. That being said, formal night is more than just, you know, being forced, so to speak, to wear nicer clothing. For a lot of people, it's an opportunity to dress up, to go out, it's like adult prom, if you will. And for a lot of folks, it's a good chance to take photos together and just enjoy dressing up because it's something different to do. Certainly, if your goal was to go on a weekend cruise, three-night cruise to the Bahamas, and you know just wear t-shirts and shorts the whole time and never leave the pool deck, you can absolutely do that. Of course, the dress codes I'm talking about refer only to the main dining room. Now, of course, the specialty restaurants have their own dress codes as well. But if you're looking to figure out that kind of a thing, you're going to want to plan for mostly casual dinners and maybe one, if you're on a shorter cruise, formal night, even though Royal Caribbean calls it dress your best. Next up is footwear. Packing footwear for a Bahamas cruise can be challenging, especially if you're looking to be at the pool, the beach, and also be comfortable when walking through town. Flip-flops are acceptable for both the beach and the Bahamian ports, but you might want to reconsider flip-flops if you plan to do a lot of walking. Your feet will thank you later. Sturdier sandals with an ankle strap such as Chacos, will fare comfortably during a port day with various activities. If your only goal is to go from a cruise ship to the beach with little walking in between, maybe you're taking a taxi or a bus, well, then flip-flops are totally fine. Sneakers are also a really good idea because they're comfortable, right? But they aren't the best choice for a beach day. If you've ever had sand in your shoes or try to get rid of the sand out of your shoes, you know what I'm talking about. If you want to wear sneakers, then you really should consider packing sandals in your bag so that way you can switch between the two once you get to the beach. Now let's go back to food one more time and talk about formal wear and all the kind of clothing you're going to need for dinner. Because in between all those colorful shirts I talked about earlier, you're also going to have something to wear for dinner. Now I talked about the dress codes and things that you need to know about that. But where you're going to be eating dinner will determine in a lot of cases what type of clothing you need, right? The main dining room, especially restaurants, are going to require you to be a bit nicer than what you wore to the beach. So certainly you're not wearing any bathing suits to either venue. And you're not wearing tank tops or cover-ups or things of that nature. Slacks, collared shirts, polos, jumpsuits, dresses, skirts, and blouses are all acceptable for the dining room and restaurants on board. Now, you know if you're going to the Windjamere, the buffet on board the ship, well, then you also know that you don't need nearly as much 
formal clothing, if you will, but certainly polo shirts for guys and a nice blouse or skirt for ladies is totally fine. Heck, jeans for both is fine as well. This isn't, you know, 1900 and you're getting ready to go on a transatlantic ocean liner. It's not black tie. It's about being comfortable. And on these Bahamas cruises, that definitely much is the norm. Something else you should definitely pack for a Bahamas cruise is a water resistant backpack or day pack of some kind. A good day pack is extremely valuable to have because it offers a safe place to store your phone, camera, wallet, ID, and C-Pass card while you're on shore. It's pretty common to encounter rain in the Bahamas, and it's probably going to be short-lived, don't forget. It's not like it's going to be an all-day soaker. So having a water-resistant day pack, not just a bag in general, will cause less concern about everything inside getting soaked, including your electronics and valuables. Now, some day packs even have hidden pockets that rest against your back, which can offer extra security when walking through busy port areas. I don't think the Bahamas are anything like some places in Europe that are notorious for pickpockets, but hey, it's never a bad idea to be a little more vigilant about your safety. Some other really important things to pack for your Bahamas cruise. Number one is sunscreen, because if you're in the Bahamas, it's probably going to be sunny and you're going to want to reapply it throughout the day. Like I tell my kids, you can't just apply it in the morning. You got to do it multiple times every couple hours to avoid the sunburn. It's really common when you go on Bahamas cruises to see at least a couple passengers looking like lobsters by day one or two because they didn't put on the sunscreen, whether they packed it, whole different story, but bring sunscreen. If you run out of sunscreen or you just forget it altogether, you can purchase extra on board, but you're going to be paying top dollar for it. So get it at home, more variety, and you're going to be probably getting a better deal on it. Also a good idea is to pack sunglasses and a sun hat to ensure that you're covered, cool, and comfortable while on shore or even on your pool deck, quite frankly. If you plan on reading while at the beach, don't forget your e-reader or booking your day pack as well. Now, if you book an excursion in the Bahamas that requires traveling on a small boat, like maybe a catamaran, then be sure to pack medication like Dramamine if you're prone to motion sickness. A lot of times people are always worried about getting motion sickness on a cruise ship. I tell them all the time, it's unlikely that'll happen. But going on much smaller vessels that don't have stabilizers can result getting in seasick. So it's a good idea to have your Dramamine just in case. Now, if you're going on your Bahamas cruise in the wintertime, Packing might be a little bit different because, of course, the winter months, while not as warm as the summer or fall or spring, can have a little more variety in your temperatures. Because if you're traveling to the Bahamas in the winter, I really do recommend packing a few outfits to keep you warm in case of chilly weather. Now, when I say chilly, I'm talking Florida man chilly. I'm not talking about what it's like in Buffalo or Milwaukee or Indianapolis or wherever else you live north of the Mason-Dixon line. In the south of the United States, anytime the temperature drops below 70, it's considered cold. I know, I can already hear you laughing from home. But the reality is, when we're talking about chilly weather in the Bahamas, we're talking about temperatures that might be in the 60s, which I know up north is like, bring on the shorts, roll down the windows, kids. Anyway, regardless of that fact, it's very comfortable to be outside, but those cold stretches can appear in the winter months, primarily in December and January, sometimes in February, but it's pretty rare. So what should you pack for these types of months? A cardigan, a pair of jeans, maybe even a hoodie might be good in case you run into unexpectedly cold, I'm using air quotes here, weather. So to recap, here is my packing list for what to pack for a Bahamas cruise. One or two swimsuits is a good idea. Two to three pairs of lightweight shorts, preferably one pair of nicer shorts like jean shorts or one casual lightweight pair. Casual lightweight t-shirts or tank tops, one or two shirts per day of your cruise is always a good idea. A sundress or two or romper for the ladies, evening wear like slacks or blouses, etc. Lightweight cardigan or jacket if you're going to the winter months. By the way, speaking of winter, one more thing. Don't forget, you got to go home at some point, so don't forget your winter jacket for that. Water-resistant day pack, sunglasses, sunscreen, a sun hat like a straw hat, baseball hat, etc. Beach toys if you've got kids, a pair of flip-flops, a pair of sneakers, a pair of sandals with an ankle strap, a pair of formal shoes for dinner, toiletries, really important, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, hairbrush, razors, and other personal hygiene products, a book or your e-reader, underwear, critically important, pajamas, and of course, lightweight socks. There you go. There is our Bahamas cruise packing list. Hopefully, this helps you have an awesome cruise. You don't forget anything at home, especially that underwear is really important. Let me know in the comments below, what are your top things to bring on a cruise that goes to the Bahamas? I'd love to read about them in the comments below. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, if it helped you out in terms of being able to be better prepared for your Bahamas cruise, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share because we got new videos every week. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.